Hey everybody, well we know Tri-Staters love getting away to the Smoky Mountains when they get an opportunity and Dollywood is getting ready to open for its 36th season. Joining us live this morning, Jen Webb, Park Publicist. And Jen, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You know what? I want to start with sort of Dolly herself. We, you know, we know she put a whole bunch of money behind one of the vaccines. We saw her get the vaccine and tell everybody they were a chicken squat if they didn't go get one themselves. So what is Dolly Wood doing to prepare to open back up in a, in, in a COVID world that's getting better, but still have some issues to work through? Absolutely. So at opening, we're still going to have all of our COVID-19 precautions in place. We're still going to have guests and our hosts wearing masks. We're still going to do temperature checks. We're still going to have all of that social distancing that people saw last year. Um, we're hoping things are going to get better and change throughout the year. Um, but as an effort to keep everyone safe, at least for the first part of the year, we are still going to have all of those COVID precautions in place. But the good news is we are able to open up some things that we weren't able to open up last year because of COVID. So all of our theaters are going to be, our indoor theaters specifically, are going to reopen throughout the year. We've got some new shows. And speaking of Dolly, one thing we weren't able to open last year was our Chasing Rainbows Museum. And that's the Dolly Museum that's got all of her outfits and her memorabilia. And people love to go see that, especially with everything she's got going on right now. And so we are going to be able to open that back up um, this weekend for opening. So we're really excited about that. Everybody loves Dolly. No question about that. So you, you mentioned shows. Let's talk about not only some of the new shows, but some, some big festivals that you guys have in the offing this year, too. Yeah, so we are not starting with a big festival this year um, like we normally do. But we are having some new shows starting off the year. So we've got three new shows. We've got The Tones, which is kind of a remix of our doo-wop acapella group that we normally have. They're going to be singing contemporary music. We have A Brighter Day, which is a brand new show as well. It's kind of an inspirational country pop music show. We really tried, especially with Dolly's help, to be inspirational and be a light in people's lives last year. We're bringing that into a brand new show. And then Dolly's family also has a brand new show this year called Harmonies of the Heart. And people can enjoy um, two of her nieces, Jada and Heidi, as well as one of her cousins, Shelly, um, perform some original music and enjoy some Dolly stories, Aunt Granny, as they call her. We're excited for that brand new entertainment. And then next month, starting April 23rd, we're going to be able to bring back our Flower and Food Festival. That was brand new last year. It was a little different than we had anticipated. It was supposed to start in spring, but because we didn't open until June, that got started a little bit later. It's a festival that's exactly what it sounds like. It's flower and food. We've got an amazing assortment of mosaic cultures, which are massive flower sculptures that are created into bears. We've got one of Dolly's mom creating the colors. And those are all throughout the park. We have a beautiful umbrella sky on our show street area. And then, of course, all of the amazing food options that you come to expect with a Dollywood festival. All right, Jen Webb, thank you so much for your time. Wishing you guys a great season with all the rides, all the shows, all the festivals. Thank you for joining us as Dollywood opens this Saturday to the general public. Friday, by the way, is season pass holder preview day. Take care.